this could be your canvas. Or this could be your canvas. This could be your canvas. Or this. This or this. This or this. This could be your canvas. This is Mike Uhaz with Arts Own Sound, and we're here with Tamara Sargent at the Bleeding Carrot to talk about the Alley Project. Uh, can you tell us what the Alley, Alley Project's all about? Um, well, um, it's just an opportunity to beautify our city, I suppose. Um, so we have this bare alley right next to the restaurant here that isn't really being used for, I don't know, fun things. So we have the opportunity to do that, so we are. Okay, so wh where did the idea come from? Uh, who's involved? Um, well, I've wanted to do it for about 10 years now, and I had Patty and Jim over for dinner, and we kind of got chatting about it, and they were gung-ho to do it, so yeah, so I began organizing it. Oh, that's great. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now, when you say the alleyway, uh, are you talking about the whole alleyway? Um, I suppose only the south side of it, so okay. the part of the building that is on the outside of the Bleeding Carrot restaurant. Right. Mm -hmm. The and one across this, the alley and the one further down the alley, they're owned by different people. So okay. hopefully in the future they'll want to do it, but for now it's just the one side. Right, and uh, this idea of uh, uh, downtown beautification, uh, you know, kind of ties into like a, like a public art project, really. It does, yeah. Hopefully in the future we'll do different areas. Um, but for now, it's a privately owned um, wall that we're decorating. Um, as I say, in the future, perhaps city-owned um, walls might be integrated in the project, but right. as in the future. So currently this is a, a standalone project, but you're, you're hoping that it, it'll be a, a bit of a catalyst for activity and mm -hmm. art downtown. Absolutely. Like, we have so many great canvases available to us in this area. Um, so many. I mean, like, the alley over by the river, um, the back of the Roxy, like, hundreds. Um, in Winnipeg, any bare space you'd see in the downtown area, covered with a mural. Right? Um, I was there for a while and then coming back here afterwards, I look around and see all this bare brick and it's just astonishing. <laughs> so we have a lot of opportunities available us to Known Sound or in Known Sound to do that sort of thing. I think we should. Right. So in terms of uh, attracting artists or getting people involved, um, tell me about that. How can people get involved? Well, they can email us at thebleedingcarrotalleyproject at gmail.com. Or they can find us on Facebook and contact us that way. Or else they can come right into the Bleeding Carrots restaurant and ask any of the staff members how to get involved. Um, what we're looking for are some of the samples from the artist. Um, just to see how they, or rather how their style might mesh with some of the other candidates. Um, and from there, we'll start as soon as the rain lets us. <laughs> yeah, the wall has to be completely dry before we can start prepping it. Uh, so that'll probably be the end of May. <laughs> right. <laughs> and yeah, we'll just go from there. Is there anything <laughs> specific that you're looking for for artists, or is it? Uh, are you kind of open to to see what's out there, see who's out there? Uh, certainly open to different styles. Yeah. Um, we're really leaving this in the artist's hands. Uh, we're going to have a meeting once we have assembled all the artists and kind of let them hash it out whether. Um, there'd be a theme, whether there'd be like a mandatory height for it, like a whole bunch of issues that we're not going to tell them, we're going to let them decide. Right. So um, same with the style, I mean like so long as the artist can show that they're, you know, like I suppose developed a bit in their technique, then right. we'd love to have them on board. Right, so instead of coming in with a whole bunch of parameters and rules and saying we want this, we want you to do that, you can't do this. Of course, there are going to be some parameters. There are some parameters. For example, bylaw officers won't let us have any words other than the artist's name. Um, none of the um, murals can seem to advertise for a business. Um, obviously, nothing crude. <laughs> right. Yeah, yeah. But other than that, no. Whatever they can do would be great. Well, yeah, that's interesting that you're you're sort of putting this to the artists who uh, get involved to uh, collaborate. As a, as a, a collective uh, and approach project that way collaboratively? Hmm. I don't know why anyone would do it otherwise. You know, like <laughs> the artists are the experts in it. <laughs> Let them decide how to do it. <laughs> right. How has the response been from artists so far? 
It's been really exciting. Um, the main response that we got was when we went out on Facebook, when we went public with it on Facebook. And, like, within 24 hours, we had, like, dozens of people coming and saying, like, yeah, I want to be involved. Like, like, yeah, can I do this? Can I do that? So it's been really exciting like that. That was a lot of fun. Right. Mm -hmm. Is there still time for more artists to submit? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, um, we won't um, start the project, as they say, until the weather allows us mm -hmm. to. So until then, it'll be great to see who wants to get involved. Mm -hmm. Right. Uh, so in addition to the response from artists, uh, I'm, I'm guessing you've mentioned this to the general public, uh, maybe some business owners. What, what, what are people saying when you, you say, we're painting an alley? It's been a lot of fun like that as well. Um, last week there was a party at H2O to celebrate the DIA's 40th anniversary, which interestingly enough makes us the, what is it, the fourth longest serving DIA in Canada? So they had a party at um, H2O and a lot of the business owners approached me there and like everyone was just so happy about it. I don't know why a person would not be happy about it, you know, it's just an opportunity to celebrate like the talent in our community and also make the downtown area more appealing to, you know, like residents and visitors. Yeah, <laughs> it's been a great response. <laughs> well, Tamara, thanks for taking the time to talk with us at Arts Soul and Sound and uh, <laughs> I'm hoping we can come back and actually shoot some footage of the, uh, the mural project in the process. I think that'd be fantastic. It's going to be fun. Good luck with it. <laughs> Cheers.